Polar plunge is taking the U.S. by storm this week. Record-breaking cold with some areas seeing a nearly 80-degree temperature swing in just a matter of days. And the fallout could be losses for both crops and livestock. There's only one way to describe the cold taking hold of the U.S. right now. Boy, it's going to be nasty. If you are out in the northwestern plains, it is going to be unbearable. Drew Lerner, an ag meteorologist and founder of World Weather, says the cold weather is blanketing much of the U.S., but the western plains is in the bullseye. Uh, we are going to see temperatures drop to the lower negative 40s in Montana. Negative 30s and negative 20s will occur in the rest of Montana, the western parts of the Dakotas, and southward into a part of Wyoming and also western Nebraska. In those areas, Lerner thinks records will be broken. Not only in the northern plains, uh, there may be a couple of spots in the central plains, but mostly northern plains in Canada, uh, western Canada's prairies. Uh, we will probably see at least a couple of locations get down to minus 50 or minus 49, minus 50, somewhere in there. So yes, there will be record uh, cold. Now for the Midwest, probably not so much. Uh, but it'll be cold enough, it won't matter. And with the negative 30 to negative 40 forecast in some areas, it's the vicious swing in the temperatures that are what's making this such a threat to livestock. From a livestock perspective, uh, some of these temperatures are just, as you put it, very brutal. And uh, the animals in Montana, again, have not been adequately hardened against the winter, the winter weather because it's been so warm. They've had 50 and even some 60 degree temperatures in the past couple of weeks. From 40 degrees above zero earlier this week to now forecast for temperatures to drop to negative 40 in places, he says it's dangerous for livestock. The situation is going to be stressful for the animals. Might have a little reduction in milk production for the dairy areas, and then we've got a little potential for some weight gains uh, in the beef cattle country uh, that might be an issue. And of course, uh, in the hogs area, uh, we probably will again have some stress. I don't think there's going to be as much of a potential for a big issue there. And with little to no snow cover in that part of the plains, the winter wheat crop is also at risk. I don't think there's going to be a widespread problem, but it's it, those temperatures are far enough below zero with what little snow is going to be on the ground, that the potential is still there that there could be damage done to the crop. As much of the U.S. braces for the cold, Lerner thinks this Arctic air is fairly short-lived. The whole reason for this event is a stratospheric warming that took place in late December. When it turns warmer, it expands that layer in the atmosphere and it pushes, puts pressure on the troposphere and forces cold air that's aloft down to the surface and then it gets spread out from the Arctic. At the same time, El Nino is helping drive moisture up from the south. But for now, Lerner is worried the Northern Plains won't see much moisture this winter. We will continue to perpetuate storms periodically across the southern U.S. into maybe the lower part of the Midwest and the southeastern states. But as far as getting big storms occur in the western Corn Belt or the Northern Plains or even uh, the Central Plains, it's going to be a little bit harder to come by.